Now that we have learned about event handlers, let's see how to troubleshoot errors in an SSIS package. After creating an SSIS package, you almost have to troubleshoot it to handle all the errors that are in that package. For example, a package that has been running in your production database might suddenly stop working due to some changes to the environment. You need the ability to analyze the errors from the package to determine what is going wrong and how to fix it. That's the focus of this lesson. SSIS provides several ways to handle errors at different levels of the SSIS architecture. In the control flow, you can use the failure constraint and in the data flow, you can use an error path. Validation errors are easy to spot in a package because the task with the error has a small red circle with a red X on it. This icon indicates that the task is not passing the validation phase of the package. And when you're debugging a package, errors are shown in the progress tab. During troubleshooting, you spend a lot of time in the progress tab. So let's get familiar with the messages and icons located there. The first item listed in the progress tab is the name of the package. There is a small blue triangle next to the package name. These blue arrows appear next to the package and the tasks in the package. A small magnifying glass appears next to the lines to indicate validation has started and finished. Validation is the process of checking for the sources and destinations in the particular task. A green arrow pointing to the right indicates the start of the task that is listed above the arrow. The start time of the task is listed next to the green arrow. A red arrow pointing to the left indicates the stopping point of a task. The total time the task ran is listed next to the red arrow. There are three icons that indicate that an error or warning has occurred in the package. The red exclamation point in a circle indicates an error has occurred and the full error message is usually listed next to this icon. The icon can show several times in the progress tab and can have several different messages. The first error is usually the one that contains some meaningful information. If the error message next to the red exclamation point is too long to read or if you need a copy of the error, you can simply right click the error, click the copy message text option and then paste it in an email or in a text editor. The next icon after the red exclamation point is a red circle with an X in the center. The message next to this icon is usually not very useful. It does not give the details of what caused the failure, but it just states that the task has failed. This icon is easy to spot and makes it easy to find the error messages in the progress tab. This is especially true when the package has lots of tasks and the progress tab has many screens to look through. The last icon you should be familiar with is the yellow triangle with the black exclamation point in the center. This icon indicates a warning has occurred on the package. Warnings can occur on a package without stopping the package. It is normal to run a package and to have warnings occur during running time. These warnings may not cause a package to fail, but it is important to read them and decide if changes should be made to the package to prevent possible package failures in the future. Thousands of errors can occur in a package and the methods to correct these are almost always specific to the package. Too many possibilities exist to list every error message and how to fix them. However, the steps to correcting these errors are the same. First, you need to check the progress tab and read all the error messages. Determine which tasks need adjusting, if any, and keeping in mind that the error could be caused by something outside of the package. Stop debugging and adjust the task that caused the error, debug and repeat these steps if more errors occur. One of the pitfalls of troubleshooting a package is assuming the error has not changed. Once you have gone through the steps of troubleshooting and the package still fails, it is always important to return to the progress tab and check the error message again. The error message can change or you may have fixed the first error and now you are getting a new error. As you can imagine, it is even more difficult to fix a package when you are troubleshooting the wrong error. Now that we have learned how to troubleshoot errors, let's see how to actually do it. 
look at troubleshooting, let's add an existing package. And let's open it. Let's execute this package. Press F5. And as you can see, it is complaining about a variable called str name. Let's click on OK. And let's change the variable name from string names to string name. Now let's execute this package once again and see what happens. Press F5. And as you can see, an error has occurred. Let's go to the progress tab and see what that error is. It says invalid column name names. Let's go back to control flow, stop debugging. So let's open the execute SQL task and let's change top one names to top one name. Click on OK. And now that we have handled that error also, let's execute this again. Set 5. And this shows that an error has occurred. It says exception has been thrown by the target of an invocation. Let's close it. Go to the progress bar. And it says that that error happened in the script task. So let's stop debugging and go to the script task. Click on edit script and let's see what the issue is. And as you can see the variable here is named as name but the actual variable name is str name. Let's save this close it and let's go to read only variables and let's make sure that that read only variable is getting passed into the script. Click on OK and now let's execute the task. Press F5 and as you can see the package has executed successfully and that is how you can troubleshoot an SSIS package.